everyone. My name is Nguyễn Minh Nhật, and my ID is BAFNIU19027. Currently, I'm an undergraduate student studying finance and banking at International University, which is one of the most prestigious universities in the south of Vietnam. Today, I'm super excited and happy to present to all you guys about the case study is BIOD good for business? From Management Information System subject taught by Dr. Nguyễn Hồng Anh. To my knowledge, I really believe that the success of the company is not long lasting if the managers don't have the adaptability and flexibility, especially during COVID-19 pandemic. When the information technology applications is rapidly developed, such as digital marketing, e-commerce, software analyzing customer statics, or analyzing mobile devices in the workplace. Therefore, the main purpose of today's presentations is that I'm going to show you why we should apply BIOD to our business and emphasize four main questions to this case, page 206. My presentation just lasts for around 12 minutes of your premium time. So let's find out what they are. First of all, let me show you a little bit about, about what BIOD is actually mean. According to 4Point.com, BIOD means bring your own device, which is referring to the trend of employees using personal devices to connect to, your, to their organizational networks and access work-related system and potentially sensitive or confidential data. Personal devices could include smartphones, personal computers, tablets, or USB drives. Next, I will go to answer some of the questions related to the key we mentioned before. The first question is, what are the advantages and disadvantages of allowing employees to use their own personal smartphone for work? So let's find out what they are. Some of the advantages of letting employees use their own cell phones for work would allow small company to not have invest in these devices while still being able to enjoy a mobile workforce. Since the employees have their own personal cell phones, it is easier for companies to keep track for all mobile devices and roll out updated as well about business since all employees are using similar devices. Since employees are able to have their to have these software on their own cell phones, it means that they could easily access and do work anywhere. It will most likely mean that people would get more work done since the employee can do it while they are in their own homes. As employees use their own cell phone, they will feel more comfortable since they are familiar with the software of such. Now let's move on to the disadvantages. As good as this sounds allowing employees to use the personal cell phones for work could be very bad as well. Since people take their phones with them, with them everywhere and all of the company data is with them, there is a greater chance for this private and confidential later data to leak out. It is very easier to make sure of the information stay within the company itself. If anything leak out, it could eventually hurt the company, especially if one of their competitors search for the ideas for new inventions or products. Also, not everyone had the same cell phones, and it could be difficult for the company to make sure everyone can access everything they need to complete work from their own cell phone. 
adequate technology, technological support for every employee could be difficult, since every single smartphone has very different operating system. Now let me move on to the second questions. The second question is: What management, organization, and technology factors should be addressed when deciding whether to allow employees to use their personal smartphone for work? And my answer is: When employees use their personal smartphone at work, there are various factors affect is such as there are actually six main factors. The first one is security of the company documents and information. Security managing manage, managing is one of the biggest problems in the workplace as different employees using different devices, and there is a higher risk that a company's security. And personal data goes into wrong hands. Secondly, acceptable and control. It means that, in case of larger organization, there is little and no control over the employees' use personal device at work. It is not possible from organization point of view to access all of the smartphone of an employees. Third place is. Performance and productivities. It has been declining in productivity due to the destruction created by social media and our smartphones. It has been affected network performance and connectivity speed. Fourthly, data retrieval. Data is not safe in an employee personal smartphone. And fifthly. Is the employees may not change password frequently, and last but not least, the smartphone does not use according to industry security regulation. There are six factors which affect the employees' usage of the smartphone at the workplace, as its use is security as well as dignity of the business. Next. We come to the third question. Evaluate how the company described in the case study to win the challenge of BIOD. And my answer is: BIOD technologies is not that secure because a lot of people that have to set up the devices that you bring in can already know how to hack into devices. Because they are working with devices such computers, laptops, mobile phones. The people that do take your devices are second-hand story, can be able to access your personal information without you even knowing that. You just store your identity and other important information that you may have stored on that devices, such as your credit numbers, hack statement. Barcode to access certain personal sites such as your online banking, and the list can keep going on. When it's come to the BIOD, hackers can get the devices by accessing someone encrypted data on the devices. Secondly, is the environment. I would not trust my corporation or business. To a BIOD environment, because there are too many risks that are involved with using the BIOD environment, I would rather fork out the money to take to get new devices for my corporation or business to keep the business data, emails, virtual private network, etc., safe from hackers. This way, that. These devices have the proper have the proper antivirus software and firewall to prevent hackers from gaining access to sensitive material that are being stored at the corporation or business. And the final is steps, the steps that these individuals and businesses take 
to make their smartphone more secure by having antivirus software installed onto their smartphones. This will prevent someone that is hacking into your smartphone from putting malware onto the devices. I would also take another step to not let employees send or store files through or through and on their smartphone so that hacker cannot access devices that belong to the corporation or business. I would also make sure that they do not plug their smartphone using the USB cord to any computer or laptop because that is another way that hackers can gain access to personal information or information about the corporation or business. Now, finally, I want to consider the final question. Allowing employees to use their own smartphone for work will save the company money. Do you agree or disagree? Why or why not? So here is my explanation. Allowing employees to use their own smartphone for work will save the company money. Yeah, this strategy has both its benefits and shortcomings. When we talk about the advantages, the cost effectiveness is the first factor. Since the company has not to purchase smartphones for companies related to work, which will save money. Secondly, is easy in handling. Since the company is allowing users on smartphone for doing company related work, we make users easy to handle this device as they are more familiar with these own devices. And thirdly, is easy in carry. Since there is no different devices for company work, so it is very easy to carry only one device for user which will do most of the work. Besides that, there is some story coming. The first one is security issues. Because user has its own set of applications which may have data breach issuer, which may create many security issues to secret data of company. Next is data confidentiality issue. User use many social networking apps which have user personal data due to company policy or default setting will make user personal data public knowingly and unknowingly. Finally is providing safeguard. Different users have different types of smartphones. We have different operating system and different interface due to this is very hard to build security strategy for all types of device at once. In conclusion, as more and more organizations support employees working from home, maintaining flexible schedule or connecting on the go while on work, travel, or commute, BIOD solutions have become more prevalent. So, that brings me to the end of my presentation. Let me just run over some of the key points again. There are two main parts, the definition of the BIOD, and four major questions in this case study that providing some advantages and disadvantages of this. I would like to say thank you so much for your attention so far and this valuable website that helped me a bright view to deep broaden my experience and knowledge. Thank you very much for your listening. I am waiting, I am here, waiting and eager to answer your question through your comment section of this video or contact me via my email nguyen1207 gmail.com Goodbye and stay safe during COVID-19 pandemic.